back in uh, 2010, Kirk, on the Bradford Files, yes, you uh, you named your top five sports movies. Ooh. And you said they hadn't made a good sports movie since the end of the 80s. Has the 2010 through 2020 sports movies, have any of those cracked into your top five? Oh, no, no. I no. can't think of Jesus one good one. Jesus Christ. Like, what are the, what are the, uh, what's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. What, what would be the, I mean, what would even be in consideration? I don't know if, I don't know if Creed maybe would have. Oh. oh, if that counts. Well, Rob, Rob, I mean, How about, Rob, about Moneyball? Yeah. Nah, I didn't like Moneyball that much. Um, it might have been over 10 years ago, too. That was 2011, I think. Oh, okay. I want to say. Maybe you might be right. No, I think it was you 2011. Were talking, you were talking about Moneyball coming out, and you weren't you weren't sure if it would translate to a movie. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it, was, it was good. I mean, it was, it was good, but do I think of it as like Slapshot or Rocky or the Bad News Bears? Uh, you didn't or, have Rocky... Rocky wasn't in your top Well, Rocky five. to me is almost like, it's funny you say it because I'm thinking of it while I'm talking to you. I almost think of the Rocky series is like, because they're way up my favorite movie list. I don't even think of them oddly as sports movies. Of course they are. That was but, my reaction when he said Creed. I was yeah, like, but, oh, I but, guess. But, but, but they are. I mean, you know, if I had to rank the Rocky movies, uh, I would go, are you asking the way, do, uh, do I, the best Rocky movies or the Rocky movies I like to watch the most? If, what's, the, what's the question, I guess? That's the debate, you see? Oh, I wasn't. Question on Rocket. I, I know Jeremiah, but I'm not <laughs> right, I'll, 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 I'll give you my top five sports movies. Hold on, hold on. Right now, today, Jeremiah, you're asking July 14th of 2021, what are my five favorite sports movies? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, number one, Slap Shot. Number two, Rocky Three. I'm not going to count the Rockies. I'm not going to put all the Rockies in there. I'll be Rockies. I'm going to go Slapshot, uh, Hoosiers, uh, Chariots of Fire, Breaking Away, and uh, oof, what's the fifth one? Let me just spitballing here. Uh, I will go. I'll go Bull Durham five. Right now. Okay, so can I give you your list from 2010? Yes, I can see how I've changed, how I've evolved. Changed? Yes. Number one, slap shot. So okay. that's the same. Good. Number two, you had as raging bull. See, do I count that? I don't, think, I don't know if that counts as See, in my movie. mind today, if you want to count all those as sports movies, then it would have to be there for sure. But yeah, go ahead. I didn't. You did. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> two, aggressive. Oh, no, he's a, the guy's a fact checker. I have a problem with that. Okay, go ahead, Jeremiah. Number three. Number three. You had is Hoosiers. Now, okay. would you say you jumped Hoosiers because you have more of a sentimental thing for Gene for, Hackman? Um, Gene Hackman. Maybe. Now that he's, you know. He's well, he's not dead. There. He's not dead. But number, yes. Good. I know he's not, but he's definitely in your mind more. I'd say. Number four. I do you think had about him a lot, actually. It's true. Fire. Yep. Number five, you had Bill Durham. So, okay, it's so not that different, three, Jeremiah. The same list. Not that different. No, I didn't say it was that different. Okay, I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this guy is confrontational. <laughs> I like him. He's got a little spirit. I like him. Well, I like it. No, it's just, it, but I will say, you on a movie podcast with Bradford, oh my God, that was great. He was stumbling over everything. Yeah, and then not, 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 right, not, not, not a strength. Movies. All right. Well, thank you, Jeremiah. Call, right. call back anytime, buddy. All right. They're still loaded up, Dave? They're still loaded up. I remember Rob. <laughs> so Rob would go to the movies all the time by himself, which is great. I would too. So, but um, I remember one time he went to see the remake of the movie Solaris, which George Clooney was in, a sp- space movie. Mm hmm. And he went, he'd always go to the, if you want to find Rob in the movie theater, you go up to the uh, AMC in Liberty. Uh, he'll be there by himself, <laughs> believe me. He doesn't care. He loves the people that know who he is. There will be um, people that wait now. <laughs> he saw like a 130 Solaris, fell asleep during it. And then somehow, I guess they, they, he said there was nobody there to even clean it. He said somebody came in and poked him during the next movie and woke him up during <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty funny. He can sleep. You like Rocky three more than Rocky one? I was surprised. Just in terms of rewatchability, Rocky one's a better movie. But in terms of just fun, like if you put, if one is on like uh, Showtime and the other one's on Showtime two or whatever, I'm watching Rocky three. Did the fighter win any awards? I was gonna say that was in what Uh, year was that? Christian Bale Bale was definitely nominated. Christian Bale won and um, uh, uh, Melissa Leo won for supporting actress. But it's not like 
Do you think about the fire at no. all? Like, if it's on, like, you don't really care. No, but that is a, that was a good movie. It was I fine. I haven't watched it since it theaters. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> but that's what I mean. It was fine. It was yeah. okay. It was good. But it was... Bale was great. I was going to say, another movie that Christian Bale kind of... You think better of, like, the, the same way uh, Heath Ledger was in The Joker. Mm-hmm. Christian Bale was in The Fighter, I Tremendous feel like. It made it a better movie. One of the great... I mean, he's one of the great actors ever. Like, oh, of his generation, Bale. Like, I, I wonder sometimes with him now, though... Like when you play Batman, I, I like I don't know what the next twenty years of his career are gonna be like. I, I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. He hasn't done much lately. I think what's the last thing he was in? He did the movie with Damon that was nominated for Best Picture. Ford vs. Ferrari. Yeah. Which oh, was, and which, uh, was, which was okay. He played uh, Dick Cheney too, right? Yeah. For some good, some was, reason. The movie stunk, but he was good in it. Yeah. Great actor. Lunatic, but he's a great actor. <laughs> I think you could relate to that uh, that clip. No, oh, the question. <laughs> I remember Ben Stiller was. On. I think it was with Stern. I remember watching the clip and. He was in, uh, I think it was Empire of the Sun when Bale was the Spielberg movie when, when Bale was a kid actor in it, and still was like a, in, as a small role in it. And it turns like, were you surprised? He's like, no, Bale was like that. He was like ten years old. Really? Yeah. He was like, he's just crazy. 